Hi there, higher class. This is Mr. Bull on Mr. Bull's Physics channel, and today we're going to be doing an experiment from the topic our dynamic universe, and specifically looking at the expansion of the universe. Now, our aim is to see how blowing a balloon can help us prove the expansion of the universe. Now, this is the apparatus we'll need. We'll need a phone, we will need a, a balloon, we will need a marker pen, and a ruler. So I'm going to show you how to do the method and then I'm going to let you do it. So let's see what the next step is. So this is what the balloon should look like and I've done a wee knot at the bottom to stop any air from coming out. Now the next stage is to put uh, our galaxies onto the balloon. Now we're going to have a galaxy that's our kind of focus point and that's going to be just at the bottom here. And then we're going to do galaxies that go further up and further away from that galaxy we focus on down here. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here we have the balloon, we've got the Milky Way at the bottom, and what I've done is I've drawn subsequent galaxies that move further away from the Milky Way. Now how we're going to record this, well I'm going to get a piece of paper that has all the information we're going to be using today. Now, we can see here we've got four different headings. We're going to look at the first two, and then we're going to look at this one later. So the first one is the distance away from the Milky Way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler, and we're simply going to measure the distance from the Milky Way to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and we're going to write it down here. Once we've done that, we're going to blow this up to almost full, and then we're going to do the same again for this column. But I'll show you that just now. Just to say that before you blow up, we're going to record how long it takes for you to blow up the balloon from the small size to the big size and that's what your phone should be for to record the time it takes for that. So here's my balloon. I've blown it up and you can see that it's a lot bigger than before. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure the distance between the Milky Way and each of the points again but for the bigger size and we're going to put that back into our table. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure the distance between the Milky Way and each of the points again, but for the bigger size. And we're going to put that back into our table. So by now, we should have this column, this column, and this column complete. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all of this in an Excel sheet. And using everyone's results, we're going to find the recessional velocity of each galaxy, 1 to 5. And we're going to see how they compare for the galaxy that's closest compared to the galaxy that's furthest away. And that is what we're going to do. So the rest is up to you.